Hey everyone, welcome back to Chill Lives Only. My name is Ali, and today I'm going to talk about three things that I do when I am feeling incredibly anxious and overwhelmed in my life. I just want to start off by saying if you are feeling anxious right now or you know your mind's going in a million different directions, I really feel for you. I want to just remind you to be super like compassionate with yourself and really easy on yourself and understand that you know, life can be incredibly hard and relationships can be hard and work can be hard and family can be hard. And I just want to remind yourself that like you're doing your best and there are tips and tools and tricks that we can use to help align our life so that we, you know, avoid or mitigate certain anxieties that will come up. However, we can do that all perfectly and still things are going to happen um, that are out of our control. And so when that does happen, um, you know, just be really easy on yourself, take care of yourself, um, be kind to yourself, and always choose to protect your peace and do the things that you need to do to get through it. I know it's really hard and um, yeah, I just have so much compassion and empathy for people who struggle with anxiety because it's something that can be so debilitating. and. I think the more that we talk about it and we share resources and tips and tricks that help us move through it, um, you might be able to find something that's helpful for you and can help make it a little bit easier on you. Um, so these are just three things that I personally find incredibly helpful when I'm going through really anxious bouts. Often for me, my anxiety stems from like my relationships, my work, and my family. <laughs> All of my anxiety like lives in the future like most anxiety does. So we have to figure out ways to almost like ground us and keep us present. One quick thing I want to say before I get into the tips is that usually when you're going through an anxious bout, like you are worried about the future and the unknown. Sometimes we can't fix that. Like we don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen. But we can um, be more honest and vulnerable and authentic in our relationships. So if you're struggling um, in work or if you're struggling with a friend or if you're struggling with your partner and there are questions that are going through your mind like is this happening? Is that happening? Does this person think this? Is this person thinking that? Truly the one way I find that can help relieve it is to just have honest, open, vulnerable conversations. And that I know saying that people are like, it's not that easy. I know for myself, it's not that easy. It's hard to bring up concerns when you don't know how someone else is going to respond. Hence why we get anxious. Um, but oftentimes the only true way to like mitigate anxiety in regards to someone else is to, you know, have those hard conversations. But that's a side note. Um, that's for another video. But if you're in it, you know, it's just something you don't know what's going to happen. Something's coming up. You're not sure how it's going to go. You have no way to like control the situation. Uh, these are some things that I do to help with my anxiety. So the first thing that I do is I journal. So I learned through actually Andrew Huberman's podcast that journaling is really great for when we have intrusive thoughts that are all consuming. Um, so when we have intrusive thoughts that like don't mean much to us, that like aren't triggering our anxiety, that's when meditation comes into play and is really helpful. And that's when you want to practice like bringing yourself back to the present moment, back to your breath, back to your body. And of course, meditating on a daily basis is just great for our health in general. Um, but if you're having intrusive, anxious thoughts that are attached to a trauma, you actually want to journal about them. Meditating on them isn't going to help. You instead want to write out in plain detail what you're anxious about and how it attaches to your trauma, almost to bore your brain a bit. So like you're writing out full sentences of like, I'm feeling anxious about this. The reason why I'm feeling anxious about this is because it reminds me of this previous situation where this happened and I'm unsure about the future and it's coming up in my mind constantly. And like write that out as many times as you need. Obviously, if you're not sure what trauma it's attached to, going to therapy and working with a therapist is super helpful. But for me, like if I have an anxious night where I have bad dreams or if I have anxiety, throughout the day, I just take out my journal and just write it down in plain words and do it as many times as I need to in order to flush it out of my system and almost bore my brain of the thought so that when it does come up again, I'm like, yeah, I got it. I already know that. Like, move on to the next one. So um, exposing yourself sometimes is helpful, at least for me. The second thing I do is cold plunging. I know this is like becoming very, very popular. I've been doing this 
since I was a kid and honestly really regularly for the past five years since I moved out west and I'm closer to the ocean. In the winter if I can't get into the ocean I'll do like a cold face plunge so I find that just helps with like waking me up right away. Um, I also try to avoid coffee when I'm feeling anxious so doing like a cold face plunge or a plunge in the morning is a great way to just kind of like alert your body. Walking to the beach or like taking a walk and then doing a cold plunge is really great just to get outside. Oftentimes when we're going through something too, the quickest way to release our stress um, is through physical activity. So doing something physical where you can even like sweat with your body, go for a long walk, um, just distract yourself is a really great way to move through the emotion. And then the last thing I do, um, it's kind of going off of the not having coffee, is I stay incredibly hydrated and I make sure I'm getting enough sleep. So for me, sometimes when I'm anxious, sleep can be really hard. I get really restless. So I prioritize drinking a ton of water throughout the day making sure like by the end of the day I'm really winding down I'm not like on a screen and I'm not um, you know having bright lights around me and I also prioritize like going to bed when I need to and when I feel tired making time to rest I, anxiety can keep us like active and, and and in this tense state and feeling like go 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 at least for me my anxiety is like hyperactive and I look like I'm full functioning even though on the inside everything is like going off in sirens so prioritizing my rest and making sure that I'm like drinking enough water and I'm feeling like my healthiest and I'm eating healthy foods helps mitigate um, any additional stressors that can come on so yeah, those are the three things that I do um, that I find super helpful um, with just like managing it. But like I said before, if you can get to the root source of it, it's usually the easiest way to move through it. If you feel like you have the same anxious thought coming up over and over and over again, there's usually like a conversation that needs to be had or a change that you need to make in your life um, to help mitigate that in the future. So even though it can be hard and scary and feel like not knowing, just remind yourself and ground yourself in the fact that you have control over your life. Like nobody can take anything from you. Um, you are in control and you can move through and past whatever obstacle is in your way and just to be resilient. So yeah, those are my tips for dealing with anxiety. Like I said before, just have a lot of compassion for yourself. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. It really helps this channel and feel free to share with anybody else who may be struggling with anxiety. As always too, like talk to someone, like therapy is wonderful for dealing with anxiety. It can help you pull yourself out of those thought patterns um, and give you tools and strategies for dealing with it. As well, give us a follow on Instagram at CBO Wellness. We'll see you for another video shortly.